back once again with another banging video b fam your brother from another mother is at your service but before i go into today's video let me play you just a little clip to keep your spirits high in this volatile time Continuité d'homme. Il panique seul. Temporary bottom, reversal. Il not paying. Quand on pit and pay un tabule flag. Il faut du team. Putin to sleep. Le de Korea food. Is that right? Make him think it's the bottom, drop off the volume. Dump it again. Push if side west. Is to one grosirch. Print one hundred million zeter one ego is to sleep. Ten point one pit. Is a wake. Load a dip. Side west until he sleeps. Ten crash he with the exact same core a fold. Get vitally con the land. Point one pater one for two one cent and wake him up. Okay. Load the flip on in trade. Crash it. Activate quantum immortality. I knew you like that. Now this is what the big whales out there. For those people that don't know what I'm talking about, when I say big whales, I mean those people out there who have the large pockets, big money in the cryptocurrency game. And they can move the prices of the cryptocurrency market where they want it to go. Now, why do they do that? To shake out the little people, the little fish, the little plankton, the little plebs, the little sharks. That's where, how they look at me and you. And once you know this, all you have to do is swim with the wells if you don't swim with the wells guess what you get shaken out you get feared out you get fudded out by all the misinformation that is in the market this same story i've seen this story time and time again since the year 2017 if you take a look at this chart this chart maybe it could, re it could resemble the chart that we're looking at now. But no, it's not. This chart is from the 1st of the 12th, the 1st of December, 2016, up until the 1st of, or give or take, halfway through September, 2017. As you can see, there were plenty of upwards and downwards movement in Bitcoin. Now, the top of this chart, the price is around $5,000. Then it dumped down all the way down to $3,000. I came into the market just after this point. Now, a lot of people panicked when Bitcoin was at 5000 and it took a dump to 3,000. People were losing their minds, screaming, it's all over. Bitcoin is dead. It ain't coming back. Well, I've lost all my money. Straight to Rick City. People, this happens all the time. The market will do its best to shake out the weak hands in the game. Those people that have a short term perspective those people that come into the market thinking that they can earn a million dollars overnight this market will chew those types of people up and spit them out straight to rex city my fellow ethereans make sure you are not one of those types of people you have to have a long term perspective in this game you have to use money that you can afford to lose 
You have to use money that you don't need for the next 12 to 24 plus months. I'm telling you people, if you can walk with the market throughout the years, you will have no fear of whatever the price goes up, down or sideways. It will not matter to you. You will not flinch in the midst of a tornado, a tsunami. You will stand firm while others around you will get blown to smithereens straight down to the wreck city and they will have no comebacks. You need to be hardcore in this game. You need to go into your wardrobe for my men out there and go and pull out your big man pants. For my women, go into your wardrobe and pull out your big woman dress and stick it on. And be hardcore. Be brave. Be diligent. Be productive. Don't let these people shake you out of the game. Please don't. Because you are in this space so early. I would hate for my fellow Ethereans to leave because of these scumbags that mess around with the prices whether they go up, down, sideways, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And they will do their best. They will put out misinformation out there to the masses. All these Russia's going to ban Bitcoin, China's going to ban this, India's going to do this, America's going to do this, etc., etc., etc. They do this so they can buy up Bitcoin and other crypto for cheap. People. You have to realize what's being, what's going on behind the scenes or right in front of your eyes. You have to learn how markets work, not just crypto, but all markets on the planet. All markets, they have big players that move the prices and do certain things to cause the little people to sell their bags to them. Don't be one of those people, people. Don't. Be weak and sell your crypto to them. Now, as I said, this chart is from 2016, December to September 2017. If you go to this chart now, you can hardly see this, that, that up and down movement in this particular chart. It looks like a straight line. This will, the same will occur with the prices that we see today. In the future, two, three, four years down the line, this price here, what we see in the last few months, these are monthly candlesticks, by the way, it will look like a flat line in the distance, people. All you have to do is be patient and walk with the market and it will be okay. Now, obviously, Bitcoin is looking ugly right now on the monthly chart. It's looking absolutely filthy, 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 filthy. The MACD, it looks like it's going to cross any moment now. In fact, it has crossed. <laughs> the RSI is getting weaker by the moment. But hey, you never know. As BFAM said, if this breaks 30,000, if we close below 30,000 on the monthly or a weekly or even a daily, just hold on to the ride because it may be a serious rocky ride down to 20,000, give or take, dollars. It may be. I don't know. I haven't got a crystal ball. But what I do know is... We have autumn, winter, spring, and summer. And those seasons are inevitable. They always come around. So just like the seasons in, nat in natural nature, we have seasons within crypto, currency, and other markets. And you have to realize this, my people. At some point, we will be going into a down t 
downturn. Well, we've been in a downturn for the last three months. Just look at the chart. And it's okay. That's fine. You have to realize things go or move in cycles. No matter what it is. Your body goes through cycles. The planet goes through cycles. Everything in existence goes through cycles, ups and downs. So why are people panicking, screaming, bawling their eyes out out here? Because they are so emotionally attached to price action. They need to decouple themselves away from the price. Price is not everything in this game. If a price is going down over asset, it does not mean that asset is doing bad. No, no, far from the truth. Far from the truth. So, in one aspect, we have TA, technical analysis. In another aspect, we have the sentiment, the fear and greed, what people are feeling like. Right now, the crypto market is on 12. Extreme fear, people. Extreme fear. I can hear the screams out there in the distance. People are barling, still screaming. Then, on the other hand, we also have fundamental analysis. What's taking place behind the scenes of these digital assets. Go to CryptoDraw.com. That's Crypto, D-R-O-I.com. And check out the fundamental analysis on how, it, sorry, on how it can make you better trading choices. For all those people that don't know what fundamental analysis is, to cut a long story short, it's basically the adoption of a particular asset class, the growth rate, the development, what is taking place with the developers, the people using the protocol. Are there more businesses coming into the space? Is it growing or is it declining? These are the fundamentals of an asset. And right now, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, NFTs, Metaverse, gaming, etc. is all growing. It's all positive, my people. But a lot, a lot of people miss that. All they are focused on is the price of these assets. And by the way, when is a best time to buy an asset? When is rock bottom prices? When it's on its face. As long as it's a good asset. If that asset is on its face, prices come down 50, 60, 70% plus more. That normally is an ideal time to start scaling in to that asset class. Buy low and sell high. You don't buy high and sell low, but a lot of people do that. They buy Bitcoin at 60 grand and sell it at 30, 35, 40 at a loss and panic. Don't make choices when you are highly emotional do not invest or trade when you're highly emotional sit back take some time out drink some water to cool you off and come back and rethink what you are going to do with your portfolio at any given moment don't panic sell when you see prices are tumbling because in most cases, you will be making the wrong decision. Please, people, 
You have to learn this thing here. You have to learn how markets work. I have done a video. Look into my my previous videos. I done a video on market cycles. Look it up, please. Study this thing. It's for your own benefit. It's to keep you strong in this game. If not, you will get blown to smithereens. Now, what our prices have been doing in the last 24 hours? Well, Bitcoin and the rest of the cryptocurrency market has been taking a little upturn. So, we've seen Bitcoin come down to 33, give or take. And now we're at 36,000. Will we bounce back up from here? I have not a clue, my people. All I do is look on the price action, the charts, and it's all based on probability. Nothing is a certain in this game. Now, what, what I'm seeing is a double bottom and a falling wedge. A falling wedge is a bullish, bullish sign on a weekly. This is on a weekly candlestick, right? And we are coming back to that 30,000 price range, which we previously were at back in July. If it hangs around there and bounces back up, that, that is what you call a double bottom. So you've got a double bottom and a falling wedge, which are two very bullish patterns. When I say bullish, I mean prices on a high probability will bounce back up from there. But if it doesn't, my people, if it doesn't, and as I said, if we fall below 30,000, you better pray to the ether guards. <laughs> Right, you better pray to the ether gods. <laughs> you better hold them to your right, hold them to your seat. I'm telling you, right? What's the best to do right now? Well, it's always best to DCA dollar cost average into whatever asset that you're looking on and stack and save that money ready for when things really get ugly so you can buy back in at a nice buying point buy price so as i said keep your nine to five keep your your business that you run outside of crypto and stack up some savings and by the way if you want some nice interest on your savings go and check out the link in my description of the video and check out nexo and celsius these two platforms give you nice passive income on your cryptocurrency and on your dollars also so you're getting much more interest than what you get from your bank accounts no matter where you are on planet earth because right now the banks are giving us some 0.0, .0. It, doesn't even, it doesn't even make sense me saying the number because that's how small it is so my people go and check out nexo and celsius now Prices, prices in the cryptocurrency market have been taking a hit, as we know. But what's going on in the metaverse and the NFTs? Well, I recently came into light or heard on the grapevine about this project here called Cold Blooded Crepes. Now, this is not, I'm not pumping this or shilling this project. I've just recently come across it. Heard about it on the grapevine through other YouTubers. And I said, let me go and see what's going on. Now, apparently, this came out a few weeks back at 0 0.06 of an ETH. And if we go to CoinMark to OpenSea, I'm going to say CoinMarketCap. Look at, look at the prices right, right now, people. <laughs> you might as well say 9 Ethereum. So... <laughs> NFTs are absolutely pumping out of their minds right now. As you can see, this got listed on the first of this of this sorry of the seventh of this month. Just a few weeks back. And at the time it was 0 0.4 Ethereum. And as I said, I think the minting price was 0 0.06. It 
it's just taken off. Now, I haven't even looked into this project on any level. But the reason why I'm showing you this is because there is always opportunity within the cryptocurrency industry. Depending on the category that you are looking at. So it seems to me, or to us, when the cryptocurrency tokens and coins are losing value, the NFTs start pumping. NFTs have been pumping for the last few weeks, people. And this is just proof in the pudding what's going on in the NFT realm. On OpenSea, pump, pump, pump. Man, whew, that is some serious profit in the space of three weeks, my friends. What else is going on in the NFT realm? Well, YouTube CEO hints at up upcoming NFT support in an open excuse me in an open letter. So the video platform appears poised to add NFTs to its growing revenue channels for content creators like myself. So as I was saying earlier on, the fundamentals of cryptocurrency in general are strong my people don't let the f prices of the cryptocurrency in general fluff you out be strong hold on to the ether rope and you and i will be just fine anyway youtube ceo susan walsinski talked about a range of topics surrounding the online video platforms priorities for 2022 including a keen interest in exploring web3 technologies and the possibilities of adding nft support for its content creators people this is absolutely bullish to the max are you feeling me in an open letter that looked back at youtube's 2021 successes and discussed the company's 2022 plans she revealed the company is laying the groundwork for a move into technologies like crypto, non-fungible tokens, and decentralized autonomous organizations, DAOs. <sighs> like, like we never knew about this, <laughs> you know, on this channel, we knew about all those three she just mentioned. On the historical performance end, the CEO revealed that YouTube shorts have been viewed more than 5 trillion times. The TikTok light clips are less than 60 seconds and are designed to be quickly digestible. Talk about short attention span. <laughs> wow. Whew. I'm telling you people, it's crazy. Speaking of monetiz monetization, the CEO also noted that the number of YouTube accounts generating more than 10,000 in annual revenue rose 40% year over year. 10,000 in annual revenue. Man, I even started earning no money from YouTube. Yo, people, you need to smash up the likes, subscribe to the channel, and get me up so I can earn some money from this channel, man. What's going on out here, man? Please, come on. Share, share the love, man. Share the love. Anyway. So, YouTube are bullish on NFTs and crypto in general. <coughs> Excuse me. What else? What else is going on in the NFT world? Well, I'll tell you what. An NFT collection of 10,000 cartoon ducks sold out in less than six hours for $120,000 and saved the designer's home from foreclosure. This just came out an hour ago, my friends. Absolutely. Oof. Wow. So, let's see what it's saying. A NFT collection of 10,000 cartoon ducks saved a couple's home from foreclosure. The collection dubbed Dastardly Ducks sold out in less than six hours for a whopping 120 Gs. Racks. According to a Monday report 
from CNBC. Oh, by the way, yeah, racks just means money, people. For those people that don't know, I'm sorry for the lingo. You know, you, you, we always have different ways of saying different words for money, right? Moolah, paper, bread, queen's head, dead presidents. You know, come on. Anyway, the couple behind the NFTs, Thorn Melcher and Mandy Musselwhite, then wrote a check for $40,000 to cover their mortgage back payments and then some, saving their Atlanta homestead where they've raised ducks and geese amongst other animals. Wow, that is absolutely <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it, people? It's amazing the creativity of human beings when it's needed. So, they said... We've saved our farm by selling cartoon ducks. And I guess they got inspired by the ducks on their farm and their geese. Jeez, it was like a fever dream. <laughs> Melka told CNBC's Taylor Locke. The NFT's collection Twitter bio now reads, All hatched in under six hours, you helped save a small duck farm. The couple told CNBC that they started the project in early Jan this year and launched it in two weeks. As an artist, Musselwhite created the ducks, which have a hundred different traits. And Melchor, a coder, learned the Solidity programming language to mint the NFTs on the Ethereum blockchain. A friend lent them the money to cover their fee for the NFT collection. On the website, the couple touted the benefits of ducks for agriculture and said with their NFT collection, they wanted to bring the ducks they, ra they raise in real life to the metaverse. People, do you see what's happening here? For all my creative people out there, and I'm sure... 99% of you out there have some type of creative ability. In fact, everybody has some type of creative ability, whether you guys realize it or not. The moment you open your mouth, you are creating a conversation. So you, you, you can be creative. Come on, let's get it right. And especially for my artists out there, I hope this story inspires you. They save their home. From being repossessed in the space of a f in less than a day, <laughs> in less than a day, they raised the money from these NFTs. People, I oh, they got inspired from ducks on their farm. Yuck. <laughs> Beef fam is just like <laughs> I'm nine eastered up. Oh my word! Anyway, let's continue. NFTs, non fungible tokens, where well, we know that are unique. Well, some of them are, are unique. Digital pieces of art tied to the blockchain technology. The market for NFTs has exploded in the last year. And in 2021, it reached 41 billion in sales. People, 41 billion in NFT sales last year. What do you think is going to happen in 2022, 23, 24, 25? It's just going to grow, people. That 41 billion, I'm telling you right now, that is chump change compared to the DeFi. It's chump change. People, that's going to be 41 trillion in a year, in the coming years. By the end of 2030. Woo! Oh, my days. Anyway, according to the one estimate, enthusiasts have said the digital tokens are... The key to unlocking a virtual world called the metaverse, in which people interact, play and work as digital avatars of themselves. Let me tell you something about this metaverse thing, yeah? You and I are living in a metaverse right now. Your body is an avatar. The real you exists within your body. The real you the soul you, or the car you, that's you. Or the real you is, the, is, for those people that have a soul, that's the real you. 
inside of your body your body is just a vehicle that you need to move about in this three in this three dimensional world that we that we live in you are already in a metaverse my people look in the mirror when you got when you got some time look in the mirror stare in the mirror for a little while you're going to realize you're looking from the in side out there's some there's a being inside of your body you are not your body you are much more than your body my people please 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 you need to you need to realize this this and, and be fam i ain't going crazy i'm being very very serious very serious let me continue are there nft collections also reportedly sold out in minutes to hours after launching for example the famous crypto punks cool we know about crypto punks board yeah 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 board yeah we know about them now people the metaverse nfts you know b fam is bullish 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 on these you need to get involved if you haven't already got involved into the metaverse gaming play to earn nfts if you haven't got gone down that road please start going down that road especially if we continue to go down in the general cryptocurrency market because that sector alone is poised to do very very well high high probability very high from what's going on you got disney getting into the game you got walmart you got microsoft adidas nike they're all jumping into the nft game mcdonald's budweiser burger king all these people are jumping into the metaverse nft game my fellow ethereans <laughs> that's what more fundamentals do you need Come on, what you need to do is get your research cap on and go and do your research. The information is all there in your pocket. In fact, you don't even have to type on your phone. You can just speak into it if you're that lazy. <laughs> I'm serious, man. Come on, it's there. Money is to be made. It's there on your doorstep if this if this couple can do it right you can do it if these nfts these these lizards came out in a few weeks and went to nine ETH, if you you know was doing your research you may have come across these and jumped in boom now don't get me wrong nfts is high risk i mean high 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 risk so you have to be careful that's why you only play with money you can afford to lose but if you get it right if you get it right and you get into some of these at the right time you're earning some serious money in a short period of time very short period of time so i'm going to end the video there i hope you enjoyed the video make sure you smash up the likes so i can start getting paid from youtube I need, I need 10,000, you know, $10,000 a year from YouTube. Come on, YouTube, give me that. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take 100. I'll take a meal. Obviously, I need a big, bigger subscribers. I need, like, I need a few mil to get to them sort of levels there. But anyway, enough of that. Give me a like. Leave me a comment. Give me some comments. I need some feedback. I need you to tell me what videos you'd like me to do. Give me some questions so I can answer your questions if I can. If I can't, I will do my best to point you in the right direction. Make sure you click the notification bell. So when one does a video, you get notified from the Ether Guards, right? And make sure you check out all the links in the description of my videos. And to all my newbies that are just new to this channel, welcome 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 and to all my old timers i thank you 
for sticking around walking this walk with BFAM because we're all walking this walk together and we're going to make some heinous, copious, stupendous money together. It's all good. It's all good. Right. So, as I said, make sure you check out all the videos, check out all the links in the videos and make sure, make sure you check out the best books on the planet by Dr. Malachi Z. York. If you want to know more about what I just said about the metaverse and how you are an avatar within your own right and what you look see in the mirror is not really the real you. You are more than that, much more than that. If you want to get real deep, go down that rabbit hole, then you need to go and check out Dr. Malachi Z. York and he and his information will take you there. It will take you there far, 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 far beyond this realm. <laughs> way out. Way out there. Anyway, have a good evening and or good day or wherever you are on the planet. And BFAM will catch you very soon. So, you know the saying, health, wealth and more divine love. Peace and love.